Hello and welcome to our next episode of Neighborhood News. I'm Jadra Patton and today I am here with Lori Major. Hi Lori. Hey Jadra. Um, well today we're actually, um, we're together, we're going to talk about some super cool stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, but first of all, Lori, tell me uh, what you do for Neighborhood Alliance. Okay, well, I am actually the grant manager at Neighborhood Alliance, and I have been with the agency for, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, almost 10 years. So as a grant manager, my responsibilities are to find um, funding opportunities for us, so I'm part of the fund development team. Um, finding these funding opportunities, I am the grant writer, I submit all the paperwork that needs to be done, and then I'm kind of the one who holds everybody at the agency accountable, you know, so if we get um, funding for a certain program, um, it is up to me to make sure that we're spending the money the way that we're supposed to, which we are very, very good stewards of the money that we've been given. And then I'm the one who submits the report. So I kind of, with some other um, support staff at Neighborhood Alliance, keep track of a lot of our numbers. So that's pretty quickly what I do. Awesome. And Lori is actually, uh, me and Lori go way back. We've both here, been here about 10 years and uh, we share offices. So not right now though. <laughs> but okay, Lori, so there is a reason for our audience who's watching. Um, we're, we're, we are wearing Christmas sweaters and it is July. Um, but the whole big reason why we're wearing Christmas sweaters in July is for Christmas in July. And that is the whole theme of our, our neighborhood news today is Christmas in July. Um, talking about our Christmas for Caring program. So Lori, tell me, what is the Christmas for Caring program at Neighborhood Alliance? Well, you know, for probably about the last 22 years, with huge amount of community support, we've been able to provide Christmas items. It, it could be meals, it could be um, Christmas stockings, Christmas gifts to, you know, the families and the children that we serve. So we probably get on average 2,000 to 3,000 um, gifts that come in, and then we turn around and distribute those to the children and the families that we serve. And I don't want to neglect talking about the seniors either. We, we also get gifts for them. So there's a whole gamut, I guess, of opportunities for someone in the community who wants to get involved. And if I can kind of go into those now, you know, and, and um, you know, not everybody thinks ahead, but I think there are a lot of people who do. And I have to be honest, I personally have already done a little Christmas shopping. So if you have an idea what you want to do and you know that you want to do something in the community that gives back to others, um, you know, who maybe need a little bit of Christmas joy in their life, the Christmas for Caring program is definitely for you. We have options, adopt a child options. We have family care baskets. We have senior care boxes. Um, just a lot of different options that, that if someone's interested in, they can take a look at these and decide if it's something that they want to do. Awesome. And this is all community driven. So this is um, businesses, individuals, families, all in our community who are helping give back during the holiday season. And what we're doing today is we're asking you to log in, sign up, and commit to giving a little bit this holiday season. That way you can plan while you're early Christmas shopping this summer. Um, so as Lori said, we do have adopt a child, family care baskets, senior care boxes, um, there's special collections if your company has a collection that they'd like to do. Um, so tell me, Lori, when does this all begin? I mean, it begins now, but. <laughs> well, that's right. You know, we, we kind of, we, you know, we kind of tag along into the Christmas in July, you know, idea. I know a lot of people are, are it, it is really the kickoff for the holidays. And we hear a lot from people, oh my goodness, it, it's, you know, it's just way too early to start thinking about that. And, you know, we understand that too, but um, the task that we have to deal is matching up, you know, 3,000, 2,000 clients um, with donors. And, and it is it is a process. And so just for some of you folks who might want to start thinking ahead, you can let us know that you're interested now. But the program really gets into high gear, um, usually in September, September, October. But we love to know that there is interest in the community this early. Um, but really, truly, once September rolls around from September, October, November to December, we are really, really busy gathering these gift items and distributing them to the families and the children that we serve. Awesome. Uh, and Lori, how can people sign up? Well, you know, again, I think if you're watching this, you follow us on social media, so keep doing that. But if you want to visit our website, www 
myneighborhoodalliance.org. And on that website, you will find an event page. Click through that. You'll see the Christmas for Caring option. Um, once you get to that page, if you want a little bit more information, that's where you can get it. It will detail all the different options that you have. You know, as Jadra said and I mentioned, from our adopted child program to our family care baskets to our senior care boxes and even a collection that you might want to do. And you might want to think about maybe just donating, um, you know, a check. And, and we would love that, love that as well. So when you get to that web, to that web page, take a look at it. Decide what you want to do, and then you can fill out the commitment form. You know, and, and people kind of get a little scared about that term. It, it's pretty easy. All we need is your name, your address, um, phone number, a way to get a hold of you, your email. And, um, you know, last year we definitely did go a little bit more paperless. Um, it, really, it really helps us on our end. Um, and, and I think it's a little bit faster way to make sure that you're getting the information that you need. So definitely if you sign up now on the website, if you have questions, there's a number on there to reach out to and we'll get back to you pretty quickly. But then also we'll have that information. We will start reaching out to our donors probably in October to start matching them up with our, with our clients. And um, you know, one of the big questions that people ask is how, does the, how do those gifts get from the donors to our individuals? The donors will bring the gifts to our program site. Our staff then distributes those gifts, you know, just to protect the privacy of the clients that we serve, the, the children, the families, the seniors that we serve. Um, that, is, that is really the way that we do it. But generally, you'll be in touch with us through the fall. We'll pick a, a drop-off date, and then the rest of it is up to our, our staff to make the magic happen. And it totally is magical, right? Uh, we've I, the whole time that I've worked in Neighborhood Alliance, Christmas time is just always so much fun. Um, I mean, at our our old building, we would walk through the halls and you'd be walking over all these awesome donations and Christmas presents. And you know, there are a lot of Santa's elves who were coming in, dropping off gifts. It really just made for a very festive time of year. And I know that giving back during the holiday season is a big part of a lot of families' holiday traditions and businesses as well. So thank you, Lori, so much for, for all you do with Neighborhood Alliance. I really appreciate your time today. And for any of our supporters that are watching or want to learn more about Christmas Preparing Program, you can follow us, as Lori said, on our website, which is www.myneighborhoodalliance.org, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Um, and thank you so much. Uh, Merry Christmas in July. I think I'm going to go get my flip-flops back out. <laughs> but, yeah, it's time, time to put the tank tops and the shorts back on. But, um, you know, it's never, it's never too early, I think, to, to think ahead. So, you know, thanks again for inviting me. And um, it, it's, it's a great program. So please, you know, think about partnering with us on it. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much, Glory. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.